Today, I'm talking about why I just don't really care about four shots. <laughs> How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, and this is still at the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. Now, guys, uh, I will say very quickly that the title and intro to this video it's not clickbait at all because it is actually the way I feel but it is slightly exaggerated and why I am saying that is if you disagree with me that's cool I have it's a free comment section say whatever you want down there that's that's fine by me disagree with me uh, call me out if you think it's bullshit so on and so forth I, I encourage it go for it but 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 just watch the video before you do it especially for this one guys cracks me up when people call out something at the beginning of the video in the comment section ah but he hasn't thought of and then at minute four and a half in the video you get the point <laughs> all right guys so this is a a topic that is important and more likely to distract or confuse or catch out new distillers and for that reason i'm going to go back a step here we're going to do a little bit of description and explanation about terms that we're going to use in these videos uh, and how i am specifically using them because some people do use them differently let's for a minute assume hypothetically speaking that we have a still uh, and this still is coming up to temperature we're about to uh, start collecting off this still so we're going to take a vessel and we're going to collect the first amount of product that comes out off this still uh, a certain volume based on the size of the wash and we're going to put this over here general home distilling knowledge for best, best practices that we collect this and we get rid of it those are the four shots we'll talk about more of those more in a second uh, next up we take another vessel which is my water glass <laughs> and i didn't really think i was going to be using props until we started here but hopefully i'm going to have enough things at hand next we start collecting uh, right after the four shots this is called heads and basically we just keep collecting off the still until it starts to taste good this goes over here next up we have the other water glass that's been sitting out here for a week and i haven't tidied up it's hearts honest guys <laughs> after the heads comes the hearts we put that over here we're not going to go any further in this video because um that's what we're talking about so hearts are basically anything from this run that is going to make it into the final bottles that we actually drink the final cut that's i have to assume where the saying comes from the things that we decide make the cut we call hearts and they're going into the final product that's actually going to be drunk i'm going to take the hearts slash old water glass <laughs> off the table i don't think we need to talk about that anymore for this video right so we're left with these two things four shots and heads for the uh, quick tip for the new distillers guys and there are many a new distiller that has either gotten bad advice misunderstood advice or just gone gung-ho and uh, had at it <laughs> many a new distiller has basically gone aha i have taken my four shots these are horribly nasty i throw those away everything that's left after that has to taste great right well not really because you forgot about the heads guys whoops i'm spilling things uh, this video isn't specifically about cuts i do need to revisit my uh kind of cuts for distilling 101 video I'll, I'll do that again soon guys i promise you just be aware if you're a new distiller that you do need to do more than just take the four shots all right guys so this is kind of where my issue comes from with the whole four shots and heads thing i in some ways see them as almost the same thing the only difference between the two is that this i am going to literally throw it on a patch of weeds throw it in the sink or put it in a big old bottle labeled poison and keep it around the shed not the distillery it's never going to end up in anything drinkable again but it is very very handy to have around high abv spirits uh, for cleaning especially getting you know like sticky label goo off bottles stuff like that starting fires stuff's great so i always uh, save it when i'm when i'm running low the only difference between that chucking it out and the heads is whether or not we are going to keep it and put it back in as faints later on whoa we've 
we've come up with another definition that people may not know. I get it. Faints are simply the heads, and in most cases people, home distillers will say the tails as well, of a run that didn't make the cut. But we're going to use them later on. So we're not throwing them out, we're not putting them in the poison bottle, we're not killing weeds with them or throwing them down the sink, we're keeping them. I guess you're probably starting to get the picture of why I'm saying I just don't really care about four shots. And the reason I said that it is almost clickbait is it's not that I don't do it. It's not that I say, don't worry about it, you don't have to. The reason I don't care is because the discussion about whether to take 50 mils or 65 mils uh, per X amount of wash or perhaps uh, as the wash gets bigger it doesn't scale linearly perhaps you need to do x y and z all of these things i just don't really care about because when it comes down to actual numbers let's say that this is 50 mils no 100 mils we'll go crazy crazy high i say 100 mils for a 50 liter wash well that's cool i'm gonna chuck that but then i'm gonna have potentially a liter or two liters of heads that are going to separate the horrible nasty stuff, which that's another video, from the delicious stuff, the hearts that we're going to drink. We've got this huge buffer in between of like a liter and a half. So why would I fret exactly how much I'm taking here if I have this huge buffer in between here? It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't understand it. On the other hand, why would you try and be frugal with it? Why would you, you know, why would you uh, look up the forum page? Because you do this when you're looking up forum pages. Why would you look up the forum page and go, oh, well, this is actually supposed to be 100 mils for uh, this size wash, but <laughs> I think I might be a little bit cheeky this time and, and only do 50 mils. What is the difference of 50 mils <laughs> if you're going to be taking two and a half liters of heads? It just it makes no sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. Now, 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 now. I will admit that there is something to be said for being a little bit more exact about this or a little bit more religious about this, about the four shots, if what you're doing is consistently creating a product, consistently collecting heads and consistently whacking those heads into the next batch. If you were going to do, you know, like 10, 15, 20 generations of a product where every time you take the heads and add it into the next one over and over and over again. Yeah, I get it. Sure, there's a different, slightly different argument to be made about that because whatever you leave in the heads is gonna compress over time and blah, 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 blah. I get that. Before we go any further team, I need to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. Thank you so much, Patreons. Uh, I, I just don't get to do this stuff without you and I really appreciate it. Oh, by the way guys, uh, there's some new stuff coming up with the merch uh, and there is a video going out on the Patreon page. It should be out right before this video. Uh, so make sure you check that out to get the update. Cool? To summarize <laughs> this really long video that I feel like I could have put out in four sentences but I didn't because I was worried that people were going to misinterpret what I'm saying is I don't care about faints because this is a tiny volume and I'm going to be taking a big ass volume here to get what I really want over here and why sort of focus on this theoretical boogeyman when I can literally do this by taste when I can literally dial this in it's going to taste like ass for a while at the beginning of the run you can get past the part that tastes like Crap. And if you're doing that, if you're making good cuts, if you're finding this transition point between heads and hearts, using your senses, your smell, your taste, your sight, your touch, everything. If you're doing that, then stressing about whether this is 50 mils or 100 mils over here, it's kind of like worrying about a splinter on your hand that's been cut off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting jaded. Uh, maybe I've just had the question one too many times on videos. I don't know. So uh, I really do hope that you weigh in in the comment section down below. I really do hope that you have your say. Honestly, like always, if you think I'm wrong, I want you to say something down there. Just be a reasonable human being, being about it. Uh, people don't know who you are. They've got no reason to trust you. They've got no reason to believe you. They've got no reason to respect your authority on the subject when you're a random freaking avatar and a made up name. So, you know, just be a 
just be a quality human being and type things out in a respectful way uh, so people can enjoy the uh, the genius that you have to offer <laughs> all right guys i hope this video has done what it's intended to do which is basically to help people out there that are stressing about this stuff to just get past it and get on with the craft get onto the fun part yes tick the safety box sure but do so in a way that isn't um crippling you with stress if that makes sense because i know there's a lot of people out there like that in any case guys if the video has helped you out give it a thumbs up that helps me out a whole lot uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're enjoying these videos, hit the subscribe button down below. That too helps me out a whole lot. And, and, I'll catch you next time, guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.